Hello, some um, quick tips on flexibility and mobility for high kicks and Thai boxing, whatever else martial art you do. First thing is always try and get warm before you stretch. And for high kicks, you want to do dynamic stretching. In a minute, mate. In a minute. Give me two seconds. Careful now. So you want to do leg swings, um, sumo squats. Ah. I just want to make sure you're warm first because hey. there's a good chance of getting injured. Oh, no. Second, buddy. What, do you want this? These. These candles? Nice. Nice. Um, the thing is, try and reduce inflammation because if you've got inflamed hips, you're going to struggle to high kick. And so looks into like using curcumin, if you have to, there's another anti-inflammatory called PEA, Parma, I don't know what it stands for, but make sure it's the anti-inflammatory, not the stimulant, because there's two that get abbreviated to PEA. Um, what else? Niacin is good for inflammation, and obviously ice baths are good. Um, another thing is, try not to sit down too much. If you sit down all day and work, and when you're driving, you can't really avoid that one, but you get loads of knots in your hips, and they just tighten up, and it's just... You've got to spend ages using a foam roller and a tennis ball, sorry, a uh, lacrosse ball to try and get all the knots out of your hips. Um, so yeah, warm up, do leg swings. Once you warm, come here, mate. So this type of thing. That way and then the opposite way. It's a bit tricky with you, isn't it? Yeah, leg swings and then do sumo squats. So wide base. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> Squat down. And then I like to do Cossack squats as well, but I don't think I can do them with Jacob. Don't eat the candle, mate. Okay. So Cossack squats. I'd uh, be careful with these because you can't go pink. Rotate, toes out, rotate, rotate, so your toes pointing out, upwards. Daddy! Yes mate. And then, just actually doing high kicks as well. And do some weight assisted stuff, so when you're doing Cossack squats or whatever, when you build up a bit of resilience to it, just go easy to begin with. You can add some weight so you get down further. And yeah, that's about it really. Dynamic stretching, leg swings, and kind of leg exercises that stretch like lunges are pretty good, reverse lunges. Um, if you've got a wooden floor and put some socks on, you can do like, and have something in front of you you can hold. And you can try and slide your legs out and back in, back in, forwards and backwards with front splits as well. But yeah, get warm, do mobility and dynamic stretching rather than static stretching. And try and avoid sitting down and don't eat processed foods because that'll make your body more inflamed, which will, in theory at least, reduce your flexibility. Um, I'll, I'll do some stretching in the bath as well because the hotter you are, the less likely you have to get injured and the more movement you've got, so range of motion. So yeah, just like touching my toes dynamically, I'll do that. Uh, the rest of it's upper body stuff really. But yeah, just, just don't get injured, just make sure you're warm and start off slow.